Okay, okay welcome back guys. So let's carry on with waiting if they shot for this. Okay. I think I'm going to be using using this I can get I get an overall uh, feel of how the texture should be for this so let's should probably take this is waiting intense let me take it down just work with just this okay Maybe I might use that later on. Let's put this on base color. Let's create the base color for this. I'm going to be using the darkest part of this. So let's find the darkest part of this. So around there should be fine. Increase the roughness for this. And yeah, I think this is a good start. Okay. Then I will duplicate this. I don't need any meta contribution in here. In this base. Base tone. Now duplicate this. This is a much brighter tone in here. Since somewhere around there should be fine. Add the black marks to this. Then let's use the Do we have this smart material typing ground in here? Let's try this ground ground depth. Now just the setting for it. Okay, so you can get this even higher. Okay, then we can get this higher than it is right now. Okay. Let's get this down some more position gradients. Okay, let's go in here, take this all the way up. Then play with the play with the position gradient for this a bit more, something like this. Okay. Uh, 
and I'll need to deselect this from some parts. To deselect this for some parts, so I come in here. So put on UV. Put on black. It doesn't seem to be working. Input this new group instead. Add a black mask to the group. And select just this main body. Okay. So I need to blow this out some more. Like a general bluff. Can you see the blood taking strong effect on this? Let me add the blow on top of this. Okay, much better. Okay. I think I'll just lower the intensity for it. I think this base stone, I think the color doesn't completely feel right to me. Let me duplicate this, try and adjust the color a bit more. For color that works just fine. Okay. So somewhere around here seems fine. Okay, so I think now I can use the um yeah, I think now I can use the I can use the dead brush those go and begin to paint in there some more. Look, let's use this close up. This close up should help give us a better idea. Okay. Alright, so I come in here. Let's add a paint layer. Okay. I need to erase some of this. Don't see my for it. So I'll just kind of splash like so. Okay. Maybe what I should actually do is to leave this on here. You know, add the black marks to this instead. Add the black marks to this. Then paint over, paint over this darker tone. Just paint this all over. Just to get more break up on the skin. Maybe I should even take this all the way up, like so. We are the black marks there. Hmm. So this will break up the texture a bit more. Should probably use a different HDRI for this.
I think a neutral light should be better. Okay. You see on the keyboard and just go over this. But you know the darker part should be a bit small at the top. I see more of a darker tone around here, around these parts. But let's just do a break up, general break up around the entire outfit first. Okay. Well, obviously, to make the top part, this part a bit darker. So I'm just going to do extra kind of dark in this part some more. Even this part of the fin. Let me start by breaking this up first. You know, darken this part some more. Darken this part a bit more. The general paint on top of this. That in the lower parts. Similar also. Okay. Right, so I'm going to reduce the opacity for this some more. The opacity very, very much. And just go over this just to break it up. Just basically trying to break the uniformity of it. Okay. Okay, yes, interesting. So now I'm getting some brick 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 corps in there. Alright, think increase this some more. Do a quick save. Darken this part. I think I need something even blacker for these parts. We'll get to that in a bit. So let's consider that color variation in there. See another color variation. So let's I'll just duplicate this. Let me name this dark patches. Yeah, I also need to think I'll duplicate this piece. Take this up, add the black marks in there. Paint some sort of transition around here. Probably take down my brush size. Okay. That's strange. Why is no painting it? He's painting. Okay. okay. 
this part needs to be a bit darker. Okay. I'll duplicate this, I'll name this, add the black marks. I'll push this towards the black even more. Okay. Let's check our closer preference. Let's see. Okay. You can see more black spots around there. You see on the keyboard, then just go all dark in here. Okay. I think this part also. Lights in these parts. Okay. Oh, I think we ignore this lower part, so I'm going to come back in here to this dark. Let me name this to black. Name this to black. Black top. Go down to the other one. I think. Didn't spend enough around the. Uh, Take down the stroke, take down the flow. Just break that up a bit more. Okay. Right, so um, I think this top black, I'll paint that, paint some of that around here. Yeah, also. Okay. I'll duplicate this layer, add the black marks. Let's pick the color here that I need to pick. Pick this color like so. Put the max, increase the brush size. Okay. Use the brush size some more. Okay. And some more redness around here. Okay. I think I'll use that to break this part up some more. Okay. I'll go a bit faint and dead on here, on this lower part. Okay. Alright, so we're getting something. No, not this. This one. Let me duplicate it. Let me push it towards. 
no, no. Are the black marks here? I would go towards the dollar color for this. Let me dig drag this out. Can't even see to not really seeing much of what is happening in there. Drag this on top. Oh, now I think I need to put this down here. Is it more darker tone? Get some more blacks around lower parts, some more. Okay. Do a quick save. So this will just keep blocking out the base, blocking out most of the base. I'll duplicate this one. Use a more reddish tone for it. Add black marks. Okay. Okay. I think most of this tip should be a bit red. Take down the opacity. Let's see, let me find something that should. Okay. Okay. I was thinking to go I was thinking to go about that. I think I'll add a blow to this. I 
of duplicates these are the black marks take more of yellowish tone to it now Okay. Okay. Right, so then I'm going to break the surface even more by I think this ones are like so let me first do Let me use the cover show to first. So I'll just duplicate this top dark, duplicate this, put this all the way up, then add the black marks, add the generator, cover show generator. Let's see the marks for this. Okay. Okay. But I'm not sure about the color though. Maybe I should use something a bit more greenish. Okay, I think this is fine. We just need to blow it out some more. It has way too much. I think this should be fine. I really see much of what's happening on the skin, top of the skin though. Need a bit more on top of this. Think like so. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Just name this to top cover chore. Let me duplicate this hide one. Let me drag this below here, yeah, like so. Ok 
ओके Yeah, I can work with this. Yeah, I think let's just let's add this white speckles on top of it. So, so it'll take quite a long time, but I think to get this right, we need to add it. I think we need to add it manually also. Take some really manual effort to get this right. Okay. I see one color tone in here. Let me see if I can add that on top of this. Select this, I'll duplicate this, add the black marks. Let's see if I can pick this color in here. Yeah, that's color. And the black marks. No. Just splatter this on top. Let me see if we have that some part of the book. Okay, I think around here. Okay. Right. I think I would blow this out and reduce the opacity for it. Do a quick save. 